the future of work is not something that remains on the horizon. It's already arriving in workplaces across America. The McKinsey Global Institute analyzed more than 3,000 U.S. cities and counties to understand their labor markets today and their prospects for the future. Automation will affect some of the biggest occupational categories in the U.S. economy. Jobs that are found in every community from coast to coast. But some places are in a better position to adapt and continue generating new jobs than others. 25 urban areas, places like Houston, New York, Seattle, and Denver led the post-recession recovery and they could deliver more than 60% of the nation's job growth again through 2030. Some smaller cities are also powering ahead, emerging startup hubs like Provo, Utah, or Boise, Idaho. College towns like Gainesville, Florida, or Ann Arbor, Michigan. Retirement destinations like Sarasota, Florida, and Asheville, North Carolina. But hundreds of less dynamic cities might see only modest job gains. Without innovative growth strategies, places like Baltimore, Baton Rouge, St. Louis, and Spokane risk falling behind. 54 trailing cities, like Mobile, Alabama, or Bloomington, Illinois, need a turnaround. America's 2,000 rural counties have mixed prospects. A few outliers have strong economies based on tourism, energy, or mining, but the majority have seen little or no job growth since the Great Recession, and many could lose more jobs in the decade ahead. We also looked at who holds the jobs that could be most affected by automation. People with a high school diploma or less are four times more likely to be displaced as those with a bachelor's degree. More than a quarter of Hispanic workers are in shrinking occupations. 11.5 million workers over age 50 could be displaced, and so could nearly 15 million young people who will need help starting their careers. This puts a premium on getting people the right training to qualify for in-demand roles and ensuring that workers can access opportunities. These trends are unfolding in a time when fewer Americans are moving than ever. The future of work presents challenges, but the outcomes are not written in stone. Preparing Americans for the jobs of tomorrow will take coordinated effort between local business leaders, policymakers, and educators to ensure that the opportunities created by technological innovation benefit all workers and all communities.